the Bible. And I'm going to be in the book of Luke, which is in the New Testament. And we're going to be starting in chapter 10, verses 30, all the way to 37. And it starts out with Jesus. So he's teaching. Jesus replied and said, A man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell among robbers. So somebody was trying to get all his money and everything. And they stripped him and beat him and went away, leaving him half dead. And they took all his stuff. And by chance, a priest was going down that road. Oh, so somebody's going to help him. And when he saw him, he passed on the other side of the road. He didn't help him after all. Likewise, a Levite, so this is another like church guy. Also, when he came to the place and saw him pass by on the other side. Oh, this poor guy. But a Samaritan, so this is somebody from a different area, who was on a journey, came upon him. And when he saw him, he felt compassion. And so compassion is when we feel um, sad for how someone is going through something. And came to him, and the Samaritan bandaged up his wounds, pouring oil and wine on them. And he put him on his own beast, or his own donkey or horse, or what he was riding, and brought him to an inn or a hotel. And took care of him. So he bandaged up all of his, his cuts and his um, wounds and took care of him as if he were his own friend. On the next day, he took out two denarii. So he's, he's paying the bill. And gave them to the innkeeper and said, take care of him. And whatever more you spend, when I return, I will repay you. Now, which of these three guys do you think proved to be a neighbor to the men to the man who fell into the robber's hands and he said the one who showed mercy toward him then Jesus said to him go and do likewise that's a cool story and right now we're all kind of stuck at home um so we can't really like go and be a good neighbor but who is your neighbor is it just the person who lives next to you or in my case the person who lives down the road next to me um, no, it's every single person you come into contact with. Um, the Samaritan was from a different area altogether. So that means that I need to be a good neighbor to kids from other schools. That means I need to be a good neighbor to people I may not know or even better may not like. That's hard, but I need to be a good neighbor. I need to show love and mercy, just like the Samaritan did. So, back to what can we do right now. I would love if you could write notes to your friends, or if you can have mom and dad help you, maybe send an email, or other ways of um, sending electronic messages, or see if maybe you can call people and encourage them that way. Um, there's lots of ways to be a good neighbor. And I think it'd be pretty awesome if you could draw a picture for somebody and send it to them. That would be cool. Um, but when this is all um, back to normal, if you will, think of ways that you can be a good neighbor. Maybe draw a picture of that so that you can remember it for later. Um, maybe work on being a good neighbor in your own house because that's where we are right now, right? Stuck in our own house. Um, what could you do to be a good neighbor to your brother or your sister or mom and dad? What ways can you show Jesus' love even though we are in a situation that's pretty much completely out of our control? But we know that God is totally in control and we can't see what's going to happen in the future, but we can trust that He does and that He has us firmly and safely in His hands.